we're going to be talking about product of proper fractions. Now we understand what proper fractions are. You would have learned how to define a fraction. How do we make a fraction? Let's take a look at this. Notice that you have two fractions and we're going to take the product. What do you mean by the product? The product is to multiply one fraction with another. So here we have two-thirds multiplied by three-fifths. Now how do we do that? And to, to look at that, I'm going to teach you a method which is when we look at multiplying fractions, it is very easy to just go forward and look at just the numerator. Take a look at the numerator 2 and 3 for both the fractions, alright? And all that we need to do is multiply them. So 2 multiply with 3 gives you a 6. Notice how the top portion, we've handled the top portion. And now let's look at the denominator, the, the, the numbers at the bottom of the fraction. So here we have 3's and a 5, and sure enough, the product is a 15. That's very simple. It's fairly straightforward. But how did mathematicians arrive at this? So I want to just point you to this diagram. And if you, as you can see, what we have done here is I have divided vertically this particular rectangle into three parts so that you can see that the, the uh, the part right here is that there are three parts and I'm taking two-thirds of this part. And then on the, on the vertical level, I have divided the sides into five parts now so that I can take three-fifths of this part with this. And so you notice that as a result of doing these little boxers, if you count them, you will find that there are 15 boxes. Let's take a look. 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 boxers. So out of this 15 boxers, what we have here now is we want to see when I do a product, that means that it is equivalent to saying how many of these squares will I have. And that's how I determine that when I take the product of two-thirds, which is just this gray area without this brownish area, and three-fifths, which is this area without the white area, I end up with six colored boxers. And that's how I arrived at the fraction six over fifteen, which is six of the, of the gray boxers over fifteen of the total boxers. That's the meaning of the product of proper fractions. Now, let's take an example, for instance. And in this particular example, I'm going to walk through with you what I taught you in the method. So, looking at the two fractions, it is just straightforward for us to just write it out here. One quarter, multiply with two thirds. And as I said earlier, let's look at the numerator, the numbers at the top. 1 multiplied by 2 gives me 2. And 4 multiplied by 3 gives me 12. So when I have 2 over 12, I can may still simplify the fraction. And if I divided the, the numerator with a 2, I get a 1 and I divided the 12, the denominator, with a 2, I get a 6. So my final answer is 1 6. This is one way to work forward. So forget about doing anything else except taking the product of the numerator and the denominator and arriving at the answer. Now let's also look at how we may do a second method they both arrive at the same answer. So I'm going to use one quarter again, multiply by two thirds. And what I want to do here is, if you were to rearrange, in multiplication you may rearrange, and so I could rearrange this into two fourths and one third. Notice how I've plugged two over to the other side and, and uh, exchanged the numbers. 
Over here, it is clear that if I divided this by 2, I will get a 1, and I will get a 2 in the denominator. Based on this, I now apply the rule that I first did over here, which is let's do a product of the numerators. So this gives me 1 times 1, <coughs> 1, and 2 times 3, giving me 6. Notice how the answers are the same. Slight variation in method, but they work out to be the same thing. So with that in mind, I just wanted you to know that either way gives you an answer. You just have to determine which one works for you in the simplest way and the fastest way.